Welcome back. I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to show you all how to draw the level 40 mammoth from Jurassic World the game. So yeah, this is from the new Ice Age update, which is really cool. And I'm sure most of you have the mammoth. mammoth. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is a completely different style of drawing since the mammoth is a mammal, not a reptile like the dinosaurs. Well, dinosaurs aren't really reptiles, they're their own species, basically, but... Yeah, the mammoth is a mammal, so it has fur and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get started. I want to put in a rough circle right there for the head. Of course, the trunk is going to be drooping down like that. Tusks. And then we'll put a big, basically, outline for the body. It's going to be facing out at, at a slight angle. So I'm just putting a quick outline in for the legs there. So this is not what the finished image is going to look like. It'll look a lot better, but this is just the outline. So yeah, that is pretty good. So now we won't be able, we won't make that many mistakes in the future. So yeah, let's start with the eyes. You can make a basically a regular eye. and darken the edges, put a little dot in the center. That's pretty good for the mouse's eye. And now we can put in the wrinkles around it. It's got top wrinkle there. This is the one of the few parts of its body that are not really hairy. And then for the other eye, we can barely see it. You can only see a tiny bit of it. Because most of it's covered. So we'll put these two lines here to give it more shape. And then I'll go ahead and do the ear. The ear is quite small. Because mammoths had very small ears. Compared to elephants, at least. Now, these are big ears compared to humans, but very small compared to elephants' ears. So I'll put a bit of shading here. And now we can begin working more on the head. So for the tuft it has on top of its um, head, we'll just put um, hair just by doing this with our pencil. Do free strokes, it doesn't, you don't have to be that careful. Then give it some darker lines to give it some more variation. So we basic now that we've got that done, we basically want to have all the main shapes or planes on the mammoth done before we go ahead and start putting in all the hair. So I'm going to do that right now. So this is where the tusk is going to come out. So this is the basic main shapes for the mammoth head. So for hair, yeah, <clears throat> I'm not really the expert on drawing hair, but just move your pencil back and forth like that. And leave some white spots. You don't want to make it all dark because then it won't look realistic. I'll shade a bit there. And the hair is a little lighter up on top here. And 
make it a little darker around there. Man, this is very shocky looking. So we'll continue to add hair. And now we can put some hair on the place where the tusk begins to come out. And now we can put in the tusk, first tusk. The mammoth is basically its, its best weapon. So they just curve them like that for the tusks. And then we'll make one side way darker. That will be the bottom side because it's the side that is more shaded from the sun. And then we'll get a little lighter at the top. So I'm sure Jurassic World the game is going to release some saber toothed cats soon. They haven't done yet, that yet, but I'm sure they're going to to complete the you can't complete an ice age without saber tooth cats because they're like the second most famous creature that people think of when you mention ice age. It's usually mammoth first and then saber tooth cat or tiger. Some people call it different. So the trunk is really thick, thicker than the tusks, and it goes almost to the ground and it curls up right about here. So that's a pretty good outline for the trunk. And it's got a line here. It'll be a little darker under here. And it's also not that hairy at all on the bottom. And then we'll continue these lines, like they, there's different segments on the tusk, or on the trunk, like so. And if your mouth looks sloppy, it's okay, because that's what my mouth look like. And for each segment, we'll put in some hair. Except for, don't put any hair on the other side of this line. So it looks pretty good for the trunk. You can darken each segment a bit if you like. Give it a better look. Because of the dinosaurs, it's really distinct because they have no hair. So you can see every precise wrinkle and stuff. Well, not when the mammoth has hair, it's harder to tell. And you can smudge it a bit, give it a nice effect. Might be wiser to save that for the end, but I was just gonna put that in right there. I'll raise that line. And now we can put in the other tusk.
So this one's going to be a bit more of a challenge. And the reference image I'm using, there's actually, you can't really see it, it just goes off into the distance. But I'll just put mine in like that. It may not look exactly correct. I'll just end it right there. Because that's what it looks like in the picture. So you can add the other <laughs> part of your tusk. So I'm going to leave mine like that. And now we can head on to do the rest of our mammoth. Sorry about that, I just bumped the camera. We got this picture there. Now we can add the hump. It has a hump right above like its shoulders. Similar to a camel's except much larger and a lot more hairy. And basically the mammoth don't, doesn't really have stripes, but it has, yeah, it sort of has stripes in its hair, but they're like, not that distinct. So that looks good for the hump there. And the mammoth, I'm, now that I'm looking at the reference picture, the back legs are almost completely covered by the front legs, not completely, but they're right about there, because the mouth is looking toward us. See, so yeah, now I can put in more hair along here. I'm going to go ahead and do the back legs, because we'll probably smear it a lot we don't do that. So for the back legs, you can't really see any shape at all. Just like drawing columns basically with a slight bend. And I'm gonna mark in the areas where it has the stripes. And it's, let's put in its tail. Right there, coming out small tail for its size. It's very wimpy compared to some dinosaur tails at least. So yeah, we'll put in the stripes first probably. Make them dark. And then the rest of it will just be pretty light. So you can't really see the toes because it's in the snow. So that'll save us some. <laughs> that'll save us from drawing the toes. But we are gonna put in the other hair that that covers the leg. So feel, feel free to make it come off the legs like a bit like that. That'll make it look a lot more realistic. So in the way the drawing a mammoth is quite easy, at least the hair part, it doesn't take that much work. I'm gonna outline where the front stripes will be. Right about there. So we'll finish up the back here. I 
I'll smudge a bit there. And now we can put in the dark stripes. You don't want to smudge too much, so then it might lose some of the it might lose some of the hair that we put in. It might not look so distinct. So I'll put in these stripes here. Like that, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna we'll add the, the other hair. And here you can actually see part of the toes. It was mostly covered by hair. Let's cover the entire arm with mammoth hair. Mammoths are pretty cool, actually, because um, people found them frozen. I'm sure you guys know about this. Anyone who's been to school or is in school will have heard of the frozen mammoths. Well, they actually found the fur, the fur and hair on it. That was pretty cool. And definitely people lived alongside mammoths because there are paintings, cave paintings, that the cavemen did of mammoths. So there's obviously there was obviously mammoths around. They might have uh, sometimes fed on mammoths. Be a hard beast to bring down, of course. But there's definitely evidence that they live together. Along with probably saber tooth cats. So we'll add hair here to the bottom of the, the torso. And now we can put in the final leg. This mouth is looking pretty cool. This one will be quite dark. At least on the inside part of it. Find the tusks a bit here. So yeah, this is video is coming to a close. I'll put in some more hair there, and we can put in bit more snow, I guess. Maybe a shadow under the mammoth that'll make it look good. So yeah, there's the level 40. I'll zoom out a bit. I realize I can't actually see the full picture. But there's our Level 40 Mammoth from Jurassic World the game. Sign it, put the date, and your picture is done. So, yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I love likes, they mean a lot to me. Um, subscribe, comment, yeah, and share if you feel like other people would like to watch this. 
And I got a lot more videos coming, a lot more Jurassic World the game, and a few more War Dragons, so be looking out for those. Again, thanks for watching.